Good morning, everybody. It's Karen. I'm doing this video to help you understand how to open SVG files and use them in Silhouette Studio software. Sorry about my voice. I've been putting off doing videos for a few days because I've had a bad cold. And <clears throat> as you can tell, my voice is still messed up and it's cracking. And at least I have my voice back today. Anyway, so I'm going to go through this and uh, help you out. So the first thing after you've downloaded the files is you need to go to the folder where you saved them. For me, that's in my digital cutting files. I've got that classified by uh, theme. So I've got all kinds of themes here. In this case, this is under monograms. I'm thinking mammograms, but no, monograms, sorry. Um, and then the split regal monograms is where I have my files. Now I've got them already separated out, but I've got the zip file here so that I'll show you what happens on my Mac when I open a zip file. There'll be something similar on a PC. I think you need to right click and extract or something like that. On a Mac, all you do is you double click. It creates a folder for you. And now I have all of my files in that folder. This is the folder that's been created, the split regal monograms. And so within this folder are all my files and there's a PDF file in here that's called split regal monogram instructions. And this file tells you what to do. So when you open this file up, it'll take a second on my system here. It says that once you've saved them, you need to open them. Sorry. <laughs> you need to open them in, in, in your program. So if you're using Silhouette Studio, you don't know how to enable cut lines. You need to watch a video that I've posted on my YouTube channel that tells you how to do that. And you do not need to trace to get cut lines. They exist. It's just once the SVG file is created outside of Silhouette Studio and then brought in, the cut lines are not there automatically. So this is the most important thing you need to do once you open your files. So I'm going to go through all of that with you and explain it. I'm going to open up this file. Let's say I'm going to do the letter G. I'm going to open it with Silhouette Studio. I don't think it's going to let me do it that way. So, okay, I'm going to start my Silhouette Studio. This will take a minute too because it's going to load all my files. <clears throat> Ta -da -da. Okay, so there we are. So now in Silhouette Studio, you don't import SVG files, you open them. So now again, I need to go to my monograms folder to find what I want and split regal monograms. I'm just going to take the letter G from here, click OK, and there it is on my screen. So now the first thing that I would do is I would choose all of this. It should all be together anyway. It should all be grouped and I will center it to my screen. Whoops. Sorry, that's a message coming through Facebook. Um, and to align it, I click this button and then I center it to the page. Okay, so now I know that that's centered. So with the whole image selected, now let's say if it wasn't, I just click to select and then I will display my cut line or my cut style window by clicking this icon. It's the perforated line with scissors running across it. And all I need to do is click cut edge. And now you'll see there in red are all the cut lines. Now, if I want to add a name over here, if there's enough space for you to do that, you can just do that. Just type it in. Um, I'm going to put George because we're like dealing with the letter G. But as you can see, that's probably going to be pretty small. If I expand it a little bit, chances are it's too small for you. So if you want to increase this space here, the split space, what you're going to need to do, select your image, right click, ungroup, and then probably ungroup again, 
release the compound path and now everything is separate and I'll show you that um, if I take this part of the image it's separate this part is separate so everything here is now separate so what you want to do is be careful start from up in the corner over here drag your mouse until you select all of the top portion of the monogram and group this then do the same thing for the bottom portion choose the whole bottom portion right click and group once that's done you can now select the top portion and using the arrow keys on your keyboard just move this portion up until there's more room in between now if that still doesn't give you enough room you can also move the bottom portion down until it reaches closer to the bottom and if that still isn't enough room for you what you can do is select everything right click and group make the entire image a bit smaller and then ungroup once and now you've got the top and bottom separate again and move it some more for example if you wanted to put a phrase in the middle here instead of just a name once you've done that, you can again choose everything, center it to your page if you want it in the center, and there you go. You can then move your name over to here. Okay, so now let's say you want to put this in your silhouette library. This was the other thing I wanted to do a video for because everybody keeps asking, how do I save files to my silhouette library? So what you do, once you have your design the way you like it, click File, Save to Library, and now you're going to name the file. And so this is going to be G split monogram. And what was the name? The font is, uh, sorry, is regal. Split monogram regal. I'll give it a keyword, which is mon, oops, to add a keyword, you click the plus button and I'm going to type in the word monogram. If you want to describe it, this is the letter G as a split monogram using the regal font. The artist in this case for the split font is me. I'm not saying I created the font or the idea, but I created this file and then you can categorize it as a regular cut, print and cut, rhinestone, sketch or 3D craft. And I'm going to call this a regular cut and click OK. So now when you go to your library, excuse me, it will show in all of your files except that I've got so many that it's going to be way down at the bottom somewhere I'm sure. Let me see. Uh, no, it doesn't show it there. I'm guessing it's going to show in my designs, my own designs. There we go. It's right here. So anything that I've saved to my library is going to be in my own designs. You can also move it. Let's say if you wanted to put it in something else, I've, I'm going to put it in Project Life because there aren't too, too many here. And then it will be in there, but I don't want it there actually. And I'm actually just going to delete the item because I don't usually keep things in my silhouette library other than things I've purchased elsewhere. So I'll just close this again. And from here all you need to do now is cut your image and you're all set to go. So I hope that explains everything about um, saving the files, opening them, and also saving them into your Silhouette library. If you have any questions please write me an email. Take care. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my crazy wonderful <laughs> videos. Take care.